it's, you know, it's really about a failure of language. So language as a failure was something that I was thinking about when I was making those drawings. You know, language really is our number one agency. It's our tool of communication and coalescence. And yet it seems to fail us. And what happens when ultimately language fails us is conflict. So that's the shift over from something that um, could be, you know, the language of treaties, could be the language of no negotiation, but also then becomes this very uh, sort of obtuse and uh, physical thing in the bastard words studies, which is a sort of anti-language, if you like, a language that is working against its own communicative potential. I had two very clear trajectories in, in my work, one, language, an exploration of language, language and gender, language, how it's used in conflict, how it is our, our sort of chief agency, and yet how it fails us. And also um, looking at military hardware in a sculptural sense and exploring not only my, but our fetishization of these uh, extraordinary and yet very uh, disquieting, worrying machines. In the bastard words, those two interests came together, sort of melded into this alphabet of impossible language. So I used pre-existing reference material of fighter planes. They're all actual current, current fighter planes that I was um, referring to, and I sort of collaged them together through this drawing process to make an A to Z of language made of weapons. So I suppose you could say, you know, weaponizing language, but really I was also thinking of language itself as a physical, potentially sort of a deployable weapons. And so each of those letters I saw as something that you might hurl or you might uh, have hurled at you. And at the same time, I suppose calling it the bastard word, thinking about language as something that can become very detached, very disenfranchised from meaning, but also to refer to a sort of illegitimate language. <laughs>